you know, some people come in the streets and hustle because they don't have any other choice. I came in the streets to hustle because I wanted to. I like the challenge, the uh, living on the edge, all that kind of stuff, man. Numbers was a way of life. It was like black people's Wall Street. That was, that was where the money was. The whole hustling spectrum was different then. You know, it's not like it is now where everything is, it's every man for himself now. Back then, it was a more organized situation. You had people who were boosters or thieves. You had people that wrote numbers. You had people that were pimps. You had a variety of different types of people in the neighborhood. Lottery, Louisiana Lottery, that's what it was. And this man had improvised it. And we used to take the reports from the New York Stock Exchange. It went along, I think, up until 1928. I'm speaking from 1920. I know what the numbers. And the Metropolitan Life Insurance Company come out with a protest that the blacks were taking their insurance money and playing numbers with them. So they got to the powers to be of the stock exchange. And did you see it today that the stock exchange numbers are mostly their deals and even figure zeros. So therefore, that was no good. They taken from that and they started using what they call the U.S. Treasure Balance. And some of the slickers found out that they got, could get it a day in advance. And so naturally, that had to stop. Then they came up with the New York, uh, or call it not New York, but the Parry Mutual Betty. But it's the honest gamble that the poor man for his nickels and dimes can have. Or the poor man's stock market. I'm sure people have heard that phrase. Olamites have known other forms of deliverance. Hitting the number can also move the spirit mightily. Picking those three digits in order pays off at the rate of $600 for every winning dollar bet. Numerology is about despair and prayer. And sometimes some rejoicing too. If a person tell you he don't know about the numbers, put a tag on his toe. Especially in Harlem. Just put a tag, because he finished. Because he's not living. Now, years ago, before the whites came into the number business, it was known as the Black Penny Game. I think it was the year 1929, a banker of that statue of that time was Casper Holstein. They kidnapped him and they asked for the total sum of $50,000 and the money was there the next day. That opened up the eyes of the white gangster said that's not a pay any game but a man can come up with $50,000 cash money that quick. The numbers is a business and it employs thousands of people. People depend upon it as you depend upon your daily job. 